is an enormous dinosaur. Welcome back to Recordology, my friends. Speaking of large things, do you remember the Tretatree Tray Sound 1? I think it was called the Tray Sound 1. It was a speaker. It was enormous. It was ridiculously enormous, but it was cool. Well, they have since come out with a miniature version that we're gonna take a look at here today. You are not gonna to wanna to miss this. There's a little bit of a tie-in. Let's try to find something interesting for the intro. A Little bit of a tie-in. This is out near Lakeland, Florida, by the way. Anyway, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Welcome to Recordology. So some time back, we reviewed this very bizarre speaker. This is the Trey Sound 1 from Tretatree. And I was like, what on earth? I had no idea it was as big as it is. That was the big shocker. I was like, I saw the picture. I imagined like a six inch speaker and it looked interesting. So I'm like, yeah, let's review it. No problem. Then this behemoth showed up. Now, let me show you how big it really is for scale, a 12 inch record. <laughs> so this thing is massive it is an absolute i'll put this over here just to keep it as a frame of reference it is it is a massive massive speaker obviously very very unique and uh, something that i was pleasantly surprised with so much so that i've kept it and i paid to have it moved from colorado to florida it's still with me obviously it's a cool cool speaker the build quality is second to none the sound quality it's a bar none the best Bluetooth speaker I have ever, ever, ever listened to, but it's pricey. Like it was originally even more, but right now as of today, it's like still $630. And that's a lot of money for a light up speaker, no matter how well it is made. So recently, Tretatree contacted me and said, hey, would you like to review another one? And I said, well, what's, you know, what makes it unique? And they said, well, this one is the mini. So I'm like, okay. That makes sense. I feel like if I had a gripe about the old one was the fact that it was just so large that it might just, where do you put this thing? It's huge. So maybe a miniature version would be cool. I should also mention that the original speaker comes in multiple colors as does the new one. Uh, it looks like I got the white one for the mini. So I'm curious to see how that is from a size standpoint. I'm guessing it's roughly half the size. So I think that that will be a much more practical form factor for most people. From a cost standpoint, keep this in the back of your mind as we review this, this new speaker is still pretty pricey, $224. So I expect it to perform as well as the larger one. Looks like this comes in silvery, black, golden, or blue, and I've got silvery. So I thought it was white, but it's silver. Did that even cut? I'm trying to be gentle with this. All right. Yeah, packaging, build quality, and performance of the old one was absolutely fantastic. So I've got high expectations for, for this one as well. Some strange packaging. Odd. Look at this. That is so weird. It's just like a jumble of random packing materials. And then the speaker, oh, you know what? I think I opened this upside down, which is weird because it looks like I did it the right way up. But this, maybe it's purposely done this way, but I'm just thinking that I did this upside down. Okay, so there is the piece de resistance. And it's very interesting. I remember this from the old one, form fitted sort of eco-friendly looking packaging with a rubber band up here with the branding on it. You know, one thing I like about this is it's all very unique. There's nothing else like it. So, and just more random foam pieces. I guess I'll put more of these back in here. If we ship some stuff out in the near future, there's a likelihood that we'll be reusing some of this packing material. But I like the fact that it's unique. Something we've experienced here in Florida that never happened in Colorado is these giant bugs will come flying into the windows and you'll just hear like this bong on the window all of a sudden. Anyway, it's kind of odd. Thought I'd bring it up. Not related to this whatsoever. Okay, so we've got this, um, yeah, rubber band with the branding on it. 
very interesting. You know what I mean? They, they've spent money on some very interesting packaging. We've got a plastic thing up here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. A long time ago, when I was using this knife on this show, somebody said it was an overly large pocket knife, which it's just a little cheap Walmart pocket knife somebody gave me, but I always thought that was funny. All right. Wow. It looks like a warhead or something. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. Is that like This looks like a 1950s missile nozzle or a missile top. <laughs> What on earth is so weird? Okay, there it is. And also inside the package, we've got the manual. And it is obviously rechargeable, so it's got a USB-C with a nice braided cable and even a Velcro cable tie on here. Quality, quality, I like that. And the product itself, yeah. It looks like it's wrapped in a uh, clear plastic coating. You can see the driver. So this one, I think it's got two drivers. I will verify that, but it's got a dual like silk dome tweeters and then like a, uh, like a full range on the bottom. And it's like radiator, passive radiator down here. So it's cool. I, I do like this. This is a cool kind of vintage. Like this looks like something you would see Remember that movie series, Austin Powers, the, the the bad guy, Dr. Evil. This looks like something Dr. Evil would have like in his den, in his lair. It's no hassle, but um, all I'm saying, they're gonna get a, I, I'm just, we, we, knock, knock, who's there? And you can see we got Bluetooth 5.3, so that's good. We should be able to use some really nice Hopefully lossless Bluetooth codecs with it. I like the fact they've got all the specs here on the bottom. 360 degrees sound. It's non-directional, so you can place it anywhere and the sound radiates 360 degree pattern, which is which is good. And you can pair these. You can get multiples of these and pair them as a stereo speaker set. And I thought that that would be kind of cool like as a home theater setup if you had kind of like that styling aesthetic going on. Now down here we also have a ring of rubber with these little protruding rubber feet and the overall weight is good. It feels heavy. It feels right. Um, this all feels like metal. I need to get this uh, protective coating off of here, but it looks like and feels like this is indeed metal. So let's go ahead and peel this off. It's like a cling wrap. Man, that looks good. And the branding etched in there looks like it's laser etched this metal grill here. One thing I did notice on the larger one is this this will dent a little bit. I think I've accidentally dented mine. So it's it feels pretty rigid, but you wanna be a little bit careful. The other one, this cone piece was like a knob. Um, whoa, it's alive. That's weird, I didn't, oh yeah, cause I was gonna say, it, this, is, this is now a touch. I think the whole cone, is the whole cone a touch thing or just this? Okay, I need to look at the manual, but there we go so far, interesting. Okay, looking at the manual here, apparently the actual tip is where you touch to activate it. So you press and hold and it comes to life and then press and hold again for two seconds and it shuts itself off. Uh, obviously Bluetooth pairing instructions will test that out. You can pair two devices as a stereo set. We talked about that. And here are the specifications. Two hours to a fully charged battery, Bluetooth 5.3. Here it is, we have a one inch, a one, we have one one inch tweeter and one 2.75 inch woofer with 360 degrees sound. And there are more specifications there. Only 15 watts, but 15 watts can do well. So this is metal and ABS. I don't think this has the wood construction that this one did. This is like handcrafted wood right here with a similar metal grill and then another band. You can't see it's off camera, but another band of wood above it. That being said, it still has, I feel like it's retained the quality fit and finish that its big brother has. So um, yeah, I'm excited to give it a listen. That'll be the first and foremost thing. Now, of course, my plan is to play you some music and I will do that. But before that, based on its kind of 
mid-century retro vibe, I have to try something else first. Tom Corbett, face to death. Space Academy, USA, in the world beyond tomorrow, 2350 A.D. Here, the space cadets train for duty on distant planets. In roaring rockets, they blast through the million... Okay, I couldn't help myself. Now let's listen to some real music. This is Kevin McLeod's Electro Doodle here on the Trey Sound Mini. We can double tap to pause and double tap to resume. laser sound. Okay, there's these buttons down here as well that you can use to lower or increase the volume or skip if you press and hold, which is very handy as well. And obviously when the unit's down here, you would learn to you know, do that by memory. Also here on the bottom is this Bluetooth pairing switch and the USB charging receptacle. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention these very cool lights that are changing color. And on that topic, you actually control the light show with this touch button on the top. In order to adjust the lights, you simply tap once up here. So there are three modes. There is a white mode, a color gradient mode, and then off. So if I tap that once, there's off. If I tap it again, there's the white glow. I guess that's what that one is. It's pretty dim. It's I've got the lights off and I've got the window blinds covered. That being said, it's still fairly bright in here. So at night, I think that this would be very, very cool. In fact, you know what? Heck it. Let's go into a pitch dark room and see what it looks like in there. You know, having the light in there affords us the opportunity to see that passive oval shaped base radiator in the bottom there. Awesome stuff. Very cool. Okay. So we are in a dark room. I've got it on the floor. And I've got it on the color mode, so let's watch it kind of cycle through the different colors. I think it's really, really cool. It's not gonna like dance to the music or anything like that, but it does add a nice ambient light show. So far I'm thinking this would be really cool like on a nightstand in a bedroom. I, I really, really like this. This is very cool. As the kids say, it's very extra. <laughs> There's a lot of unnecessary elements to this, but that's kind of why I like it. And we'll talk about the sound quality in a minute, but I wanted to show you what the light show is like. Let's tap this again, turns it off, and then one more time brings back just the white solid glow. Very cool look to it. I love that. And I'm actually going to turn the light out here for a minute because this is a fantastic opportunity to introduce you to the all new exclusive limited edition Recordology glow-in-the-dark 45 adapters, hot off the press. This one looks a little ragged because it hasn't been finished. It still has the raft on the back. This one is finished and ready to go. As of the publication of this video, these are for sale and are available through purchase on our eBay store. And you can find that link all over the channel, including in the description of this very video, limited time edition, by request, one of you guys requested this, Glow in the Dark Recordology 45 Adapters. Get yours now. Okay, at the end of the day, it was fantastic in terms of build quality, design, sound quality, uniqueness, but it's very expensive still. Over $200 it is pricey, but 
if that's in your budget and the design cues meet what you're looking for, then you can rest assured the build quality and sound quality are there. Absolutely fantastic. As much as I don't need another Bluetooth speaker in my house, I feel inclined to find a home for this thing. So I am gonna give it a thumbs up. There will be a link in the description below. And as we mentioned earlier, the Glow in the Dark 45 adapters are on sale. Do I have one laying around here? Of course I don't, but they are on sale. So the eBay store has been updated and so has the YouTube page and the links down below for that are available for you as well. But mostly my friends, welcome aboard if you're new. Definitely think about subscribing. And we will see you next time, guys. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.